The time has come, at last. With the aid of Tenavik and the monks of Boreth, we are ready to take the next step on this strange, strange journey. We are ready to restore the soul of the realm. Come to the monastery on Boreth as soon as you can. Lady Jula, General Martok, and I will be waiting for you there. Something you need? What I am about to tell you is unusual. I ask that you hear me out before making any sort of judgment. Tenavik believes that the soul of Laurel was not restored to her clone because it is trapped within the depths of Grandma. Based on my own research, I am inclined to agree with him. We aren't sure. What I do know is Lady Jula wants to take a spiritual journey to Grethor to liberate the soul of Laurel. Tenavik has assured us that such a journey is possible, and is willing to facilitate the process. While some of us have our doubts, Jula is convinced she must do this, and so here we are. If necessary, yes. She requests that you join her on this journey, however. You and General Martok. I have. I would like to see if such a thing can be done. If it is possible, Jaula will need all the help she can get in a place filled with the worst pieces of Bakhtag ever to call themselves Klingons. Speaking of Jaula, she wanted a word with you once you arrived. Have arrived. Good. We have a challenging journey ahead of us. Tanavik can explain more about it to you. It will be a challenge, one that will test your body, mind, and soul. The strongest of warriors can fall on such a journey. It is not a path to be traveled lightly. The future of the Empire is at stake. Lorel can guide us to victory over Jempak. For that, I will do what must be done. Even if I have to destroy Fekla himself!
To enter Grathor, you'll need to be on the precipice of death. The fumes of this incense will allow you to enter a death-like, comatose state. That is when your journey will begin. Adipa and I will monitor your bodies from here. This does not seem like Grethel. This is not Grethel. This is Kuth. The Void. Why are we here? Perhaps we are here because our fates are not yet decided. But the ritual... Wait! Wait. Something approaches from the mists. What brings you to a place where neither honor nor dishonor reigns? I do not know you. You, I know from tales of the past. Joula, sister of Kuzma, the matriarch of House Mokai. But you, Daniel Martok, I will never forget you. Why are you here? I must admit, I am surprised to see you here, Martok. Did your friends in the Federation finally convince you to do something less than honorable before you died? Was it Cisco? Or was it your good friend War, the treacherous son of Rogue? Who are you, Pratak? And why are you. Wait. Those eyes. I have seen such eyes before. Yes, you have. For this is Gauron, son of Morel, son of Akar. And to answer your question, I am not dead yet, Gaurav. My allies and I are merely passing through. Passing through, are you? There are but two destinations you can reach from Koth. And I'll wager you're not traveling to Strogokov. You mentioned my ancestor, Akar. He served House Mokai during the war with the Federation. Does your little journey have something to do with him? It does not. Though I suspect his treachery is the reason you are here now, Gauron. After all, the dishonor of the father also dishonors his sons and their sons for three generations. You are many things, Martok, but a liar is not one of them. If I had any doubt of that, I would kill you. Stand for insulting the honor of my grandfather. So, the car's dishonor has kept me trapped in this wretched place. Not the fate I had expected. Indeed. Grethel, our destination. You said it could be reached from here. Do you know the way? I do. I can guide you there if you wish it. Wait. The Gauron I knew would not aid anyone if it did not benefit him in some way. What scheme are you hiding behind this sudden act of benevolence? 
to look around you, Marta. There is little to do in this place but brood and despair. I'm taking you there for my amusement. And perhaps there may be a way out of this place. If there is, I would find it. Even if I have to march at your side to do so. <laughs> Does that satisfy you? Or shall we stand here for eternity and ponder my motivations? This is the barge of the dead, laden with souls bound for grace. You want to announce yourself to Kotar. It is unwise to vex the ferryman. First Klingon, slayer of gods. I am, and you are Ja'ula, kinswoman of Takuzma, matriarch of your house. It is not your time. You should not be here. Explain yourself. My allies and I seek the soul of another, one who should be in Stovacorn, but now dwells in Brethren. It is not your time. in a Starfleet prison. Oh, you rescued your pet, a car, but not a lonely Beck, trapped in his cell. And during your raid, an explosion exposed my cell to the cold void of space. And so I died, disarmed. Be gone! I have nothing more to say to you. That was no way for a warrior to die. It is a fate I narrowly avoided several times myself. Come, let us see what the others know. Rarell, here? Kiyah! I may be a coward, but you are an idiot! Everyone knows that Lorel is in Stovacorn! As for you, you will have an eternity in Grethor to find wisdom, fool. But the lessons that await you will not be pleasant. Mind your tongue, or I will throw you overboard and feed you to the Coast Kari. Lady Jaula, this is getting us nowhere. Perhaps a more direct approach is in order. Out of respect for the ferryman, I will refrain from such measures until they are necessary. Come. Let us see if one of the others has something besides rain. You dishonored your house and your crew. You forgot what it meant to be Klingon, Captain. And now you go to pay the price for that. Step away from me now, or your suffering will begin before you walk through the gates of Grethor. Will you turn? I shall have my vengeance before all others. I do not know who sent you here, Julia, and I do not care. My wish for vengeance has been granted, and I... Fight! Fight! Shall 
earn no salvation through combat here. Bah! The very man has spared you. For now, do not think you will rest easy once we reach Grethor. I will fight you, and I will have my revenge. This I swear. Bold words. But I think you'll find that Feklar has plans for you. As he does for all traitors. We're done here. Leave this wretch to his fate. The glory of combat, brief as it was, it felt good to engage in battle once more. To be Klingon. So, there is still something within you that knows what it means to be a warrior. You were the Gowron of old, before the Chancellorship changed you, as it did me, as it did Jampak. And perhaps, Laurel. Interesting. You became Chancellor after I fell in battle? Tell me you killed Worf to do so. Oh, that would have been glorious! I did not. Worf still lives and serves the Empire to this day. I hope you can handle such a disappointment, Galvin. Let us ask the Ferryman how much longer it will be until we get to Grethel. You fight with purpose, Daula. Honor to you and your house. I think we shall not meet again. And that gladdens my heart. It will be some time before we arrive at Grethel. Tell me of the soul you seek. I would know your story, so I can sing it to the dishonored, to remind them of who they were, of who they could still become. I seek Lorel. She was once called Mother, a great warrior and leader of the Empire. I would liberate her soul. I strive to remove a tyrant from the Emperor's throne, and her counsel will help me to do so. This is why I journey to the halls of Grethel, Ferryman. For the Empire, no risk is too great. I have seen her. Once, she stood not far from where you stand now. She did not speak. She did not have to. But I saw in her the same pain that I carry in my heart. You can find her in Grethor, if the denizens do not end you first. But that is not my tale to tell. Find Lorel, make her story and yours as one, and fight with all your conviction. Then, and only then, may you find a way out of Grethor, for yourself and for Lorel. So there is a way out of Grethor. Tell me, ferryman, how can I find my way in? The gates are locked to me. My path out of Koth has been blocked by the dishonor of my ancestor. But if I can enter Grethor, I can find the liberation that Jaula and her allies seek for Loren. Speak! Tell me what I wish to know! I will tell you only this. Your story has not ended, Gauron, son of Marel. The scales can be shifted yet, for good or for ill. Now, leave me to my duty. I will call upon you when we draw near to Grethor. Until then, know your place. Do not forget that I am master of this vessel. It is unwise to test my authority here. We have arrived. 
I will wait for you and your allies here, gentlemen. Should you succeed, return to me here, and I will ensure your song does not end in Grethor. We will not keep you waiting, so it does. Prepare for battle. Our greatest challenge awaits. You will find no one to block your entrance at the gates of Grethor, warriors. Get it out. That will be the challenge. Yauron, a pity you cannot join us. I suspect you would find more entertainment past in the depths of Grethor itself. I do not doubt that. Soon Fekla will know the frustration of dealing with a Klingon too stubborn to die. Glory to you and your house. Fight with honor, and if necessary, I will. Kapla! Time has come! Go now, warriors! Your destiny lies beyond those gates! We shall see. The holes of Grethor have crushed many a soul. I hope yours do not join their ranks. As for you, Kauron, I would have words with you before we depart. Look at these pathetic wretches, reporting for damnation like it were duty. There are the gates. Let us see if entering Grethor is as easy as Kortok has said. This is going to be like searching for a cloaked ship in the Briar Patch. We do not seek a mundane soul, General. Few Klingons do not know of the realm. I do not think a warrior of her caliber would go unnoticed, especially in a place like this. Come, let us speak to others here. It should not take long to find the realm. Looking for Lorel. Have you seen her? Can't say I have. Sorry. Don't make that face at me. See that man atop the stairs? The one surrounded by she demons? He's called Kutin. Seems to be a player in here. You might ask him about Lorel.
Listen closely, Patak. We seek Lorel. Have you seen her? Speak now, before I feed to your charming friends. You wouldn't! Wait. What? I can see it in your eyes. I have not seen this Lorel. The fort. You need to talk to Bolt. If there's anyone who knows about this, it's her! Please, don't leave me! Fort must be further in. Let us head through these doors and look for them. With so many questions have made their way to me at last. Allow me to welcome you to the Hall of Treachery. A tragic name, really. We aren't all bad here. Newcomers are quite popular, you know. You've been watched since you said foot past the day. Can you blame me? We enjoy such amusement whenever we can. If you've been watching us, you know why we're here. Laurel, does she dwell within your domain or not? Calm yourself, Jim. Yes, I know who you are. The great and terrible Martok, Butcher of Zenkat III, the one I do, and so forth. Your reputation precedes you, all of you. Enough. You still haven't answered his question, no doubt. Tell us where we can find Laurel, and you'll never see us. Well, this is true. But I'm afraid I lost the rail train of What? Lorel? I don't know her. But there must be some sort of mistake. Gambler? No, no. This is Lothar's work. I'm sorry. You've been played. We've all been played. And now... Now we're gonna suffer for it. Sorry. I told you on the barn that vengeance would be fun. What I meant was vengeance would be ours. is on our side. Kill is almost poetic and traitor. Oh. 
Prepare to meet your end! Sister of Takuma, I know your story well. How you rose to power in House Mokai, your conflict with your brother, and your bold crusade against the Federation during the war. Even after my death, I heard tales of your exploits. You have made and ended a great many enemies. Many of them now dwell within these halls. I know why these souls are here. What I do not know is why you are here. It is not your time. If you have heard of my exploits, you know of my clash with the tyrant Jemtok. Once he held the office you brought honor to, but it was not enough to sate his lust for power. Now, he calls himself Emperor, and has shattered the great work of my brother. The Empire you led with honor is now divided, on the verge of collapse. I am here because I want to restore you to the realm of the living, to help me save it. Your brother often spoke of your boldness. I suspect he might have understated it somewhat. What you seek is not impossible, but I question the need for such a thing. Why seek to restore me from the dead when another former Chancellor still breathes? Of what use am I when General Martok, a warrior fit to wield the sword of Kalish, stands at your side? It appears you've heard of my exploits as well, Chancellor. I am honored. As you should be, General. You have served the Empire with honor. And yet, you are reluctant to reclaim the office you once held. Why else would you be here now? I do not blame you. I know too well of the great burden that office brings. And word travels fast here. Your enemies will be on the move. If you do not return to the realm of the living soon, they will strike. Even the greatest warriors can die here. You should leave. Join us. Together, we can liberate you from this place and restore you to life as Kalis once was. No, I cannot leave this place. It is a matter of honor. Once, I dwelled in Stovokor, among the honored dead. But Vok, my greatest love, was denied entry. He was denied an honor. I could not bear that. And so, I came here and bargained with Veklar for his release. In exchange for Vok's freedom, I offered to take his place. As you can see, my offer was accepted. This is why I cannot leave. To do so would dishonor the agreement, and condemn us both to eternal suffering in Gretel. You have traveled here in vain, Jabula. I cannot help you. No, I saw it. The crystal showed me the future, and you are a part of it. If you could strike a bargain with the master of Grethor, so can I. I will find Feklar and secure your freedom or die trying! I have seen such determination before, in the eyes of your honored brother. So be it. I will take you to Feklar. There we shall see how strong your resolve truly is. 
The stairs beyond those doors lead to Feklar's hall. Feklar. This ought to be interesting. 